the United States has been sanctioning the Chinese company Huawei since 2019, citing security concerns regarding its 5G equipment. The U.S. has also been trying to persuade allies, including Japan and the European Union, to boycott Huawei. However, after four years of sanctions, Huawei has not only survived, but has independently developed 5G chips. Recently, some European countries, particularly Germany, have started changing their stance and lifting bans on Huawei's 5G equipment, which has raised questions about their alliance with the United States and the future of European sanctions against Huawei. Huawei, as a leading communications equipment supplier, played a crucial role in 5G network construction globally. It established strong partnerships with European telecom operators, covering various aspects from infrastructure to network optimization. Despite this, the U.S. imposed multiple rounds of sanctions on Huawei, pressuring its allies to exclude the company. Several European countries initially terminated cooperation with Huawei, even though it meant dismantling existing equipment and providing subsidies for the transition. However, recent developments indicate a shift in some European countries' positions, especially Germany. Germany's decision to lift the ban on Huawei is influenced by economic factors. The cost of replacing Huawei equipment and potential project delays would be substantial. Additionally, Germany has signed a 12 billion euros contract with Huawei for 5G network construction, making the financial penalties for breaking the contract a significant concern for the German government. Germany's decision sends a strong message that Huawei and Chinese 5G equipment are not engaged in surveillance activities, challenging the U.S. stance. This shift poses a challenge for the United States as it may no longer use security concerns as a pretext to ban Huawei equipment. It's a victory for Huawei and signifies the company's continued dominance in the 5G field. The close economic ties between Germany and China, including extensive trade and the dependence of German companies like Siemens, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, and BMW on the Chinese market, make the German government more inclined to cooperate with China. Italy was the first European country to lift the ban on Huawei's 5G equipment, followed by the UK, both concluding that Huawei's equipment did not pose a security threat. This trend indicates that Huawei is gradually breaking through the US technology blockade and may regain market share. Huawei's commitment to technological innovation and product upgrades, despite US sanctions, has won consumer recognition and market share growth. The US sanctions against Huawei may ultimately prove ineffective in the face of Huawei's technological advancements and global market support. In conclusion, Germany's decision to lift the ban on Huawei's 5G equipment reflects a shift in its stance influenced by economic, commercial, and geopolitical factors. This decision challenges the US position and signals Huawei's continued success in the 5G market. Despite U.S. sanctions, Huawei's commitment to innovation has allowed it to maintain and even expand its market presence globally.